What's up guys, Perry from Rockville here, and today I'm gonna teach you how to set up your RHPA4 4 channel headphone amplifier. This is the perfect thing to use to hear yourself back in any recording setups, podcasts, fan rehearsals, and much more. So as you can see, you'll get the headphone amplifier itself, a DC 5 volt USB cable that you can use to power the amp through your laptop, or to use this USB block to power the amp by itself. So the first thing you can do to set it up is take the USB block and the power cable and connect them together like so. Then you'll want to take the DC end and plug that into the headphone amp. Then you'll take the other end and plug that into a power outlet. And you'll know the amp is working when you see this power light here lit up. Now we can use this headphone amp with anything that has a headphone output like an audio interface, a mixer, and other devices. So first let me show you how to set this up with an audio interface. Alright, so here I have my audio interface and my laptop that I would use for a podcast or recording session. Now you'd want to use this headphone amp to connect multiple headphones at a time for you and your guests while recording a podcast or for you and other musicians while recording a session. Now to connect the headphone amp to my interface, I'm going to need a quarter inch TRS cable. I'm going to take one end of the cable and plug that into the quarter inch input on the back of the headphone amp. Then I'm going to take the other end and plug that into the quarter inch headphone jack on my interface. We could also use a 3.5 millimeter aux cable to connect the headphone amp to any audio mixer or interface. So now we can go ahead and plug the headphones into any channel of the headphone amplifier. Right now I'm going to use channel 1. Now since this is a headphone amplifier, we can use any kind of headphones with any kind of impedance and still get the same sound quality for each pair. Now for this demo I have my microphone set up to my interface that I'll want to hear back through my headphones while using the headphone amp. So first I'll want to raise the gain on my mic channel. And now since we only want to hear the sound coming from the headphones, we'll just want to raise the headphone volume knob here. Then we'll want to raise the volume knob on the headphone channel we're using. Now I'll put on my headphones. So now if we turn on our microphone, we'll be able to hear ourselves coming from our headphones. Now we can do the same exact thing for any other channel on the headphone amp. Whether you hooked up an instrument or microphone through your mixer or interface and still be able to hear it all through your headphones. Again, this is a great setup for podcasters or recording artists who want to hear themselves and each other while recording. A great feature to point out on the headphone amp is the stereo and mono switch here. So if we have this set in stereo mode, we'll be able to hear any tracks or channels pan to the left or right in full stereo. And if we have this set in mono mode, we'll be able to hear everything coming out of both sides of our headphones. So like I mentioned before, we can also use the RHPA4 for any band rehearsals through a mixer. So let me show you how to set that up next. Okay, so for a band rehearsal setup, you'll usually see a powered mixer of some sort and two passive speakers. For this demo, I have my microphone set up to my mixer that I'll want to hear through my headphones using the headphone amp. For this setup, I'll take a quarter inch cable and plug that into the quarter inch input on my headphone amp. Then I'll take the other end and plug that into the headphone jack on my mixer. Now on my mic channel, I'll raise the gain and then the volume fader on my channel. So next we'll wanna raise the headphone volume knob on our mixer. Then we'll wanna raise the main left and right faders so that everything coming into the mixer is going out to our headphones. Now I'll just go ahead and put on my headphones. So now if we turn on our microphone, we should be able to hear ourselves coming from our headphones. Now on top of the four quarter inch outputs that we have on our RHPA4, each channel also comes with an additional eighth inch output so we can connect headphones with an eighth inch connection. However, we can use all of these outputs at the same time, giving us a total of eight headphones that we can use at once. So for example, you can have two people use channel one on the headphone amp at the same time if one person uses the eighth inch connection and one person uses the quarter inch connection. But just keep in mind, since they're using the same channel, they'll only be able to use the one volume knob. So they won't be able to change the volumes coming out of their headphones. However, they have the freedom to mix the volumes on the mixer. Now, if we needed to connect even more headphones to our setup, we have the option to connect one RHPA4 to another. Let me show you how to do that next. Now, when you connect a mixer or audio interface to the headphone amp by using the quarter inch cable, the 3.5 millimeter input automatically becomes an output. This will allow you to connect one headphone amp to the other. To do that, we'll just need an aux cable. Take one end and plug 
that into the 3.5 millimeter connection on the first headphone amp. Then take the other end and plug that into the 3.5 millimeter input on the next one. And now we should be able to use up to 16 headphones altogether. So I hope this showed you guys how easy it is to set up your RHPA4 4 channel headphone amplifier. But of course if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to reach out to our customer support team through phone or email. As always guys, I'm Perry from Rockville, and I'll see you next time.